all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about the very second problem of this june ec2021 and the problem name is multiple of 3 okay so let's discuss this problem we have been given an integer n and our task is to make n a multiple of 3 so we have been given an integer n and uh, this n can be a multiple of 3 and cannot be a multiple of 3 and our task is to make it a multiple of 3 so in order to make n a multiple of 3 we can insert at most one digit in n note that the term at most one digit so either you can insert at the digit or you cannot insert the digit uh, if n is already a multiple of 3 it is obvious that we are not going to insert any digit but if what about when n is not a multiple of 3 we are going to in insert a digit and our task is to find the minimum possible n which is a multiple of 3 after inserting at most one digit we can insert the digit anywhere in n and also you need not necessarily insert okay and print the minimum n so what we are going to do is like uh, here the constraint is going to play an important role uh, this n that will be given us as an input is going to vary up to at most 10 power 9 and this is going to help us how this is going to help us let us try to understand this so let me raise this all this stuff and I am going to explain how this is going to help us ok so this capital N is going to vary up to 10 power 9 and uh, what is the maximum number of digits present over this string the maximum number of digits present over this string is like uh, 9 times of this 0 and this 10 that is the 10 digits are present over here ok now consider any number like let's say I am going to talk about 15 this value let's say it is capital N and it is given to us it is already a uh, divisible that is it is already divisible by 3 so we are not going to insert this uh, any of the digits okay and what about when some number is not going to be like divisible by 3 like uh, we have been given 5 okay so if we have been given 5 and we have to insert one digit so after inserting one digit let's suppose we have the elements in the form like a b that is uh, a b is going to denote the a is going to denote the first character and b is going to denote the second character ok second character of the number if we consider the number in the string format ok or if you also say a is the first digit b is the second digit and so on ok so rather than taking this small example i will take some another example like 435 uh, no i am not going to take 435 i will take 436 Okay, so this number is not going to be like divisible by 3 I guess and uh, yes it is not going to be divisible by 3. So uh, after inserting one element my number would be like ABCD format of ABCD. Okay, and let's say I am going to insert this element uh, that is the element over this position. Okay, and let's say I am going to insert the, any element uh, let's say element of the form K. I am going to denote the newly inserted element in the form of K. Okay. So my this k can be inserted over here 436k or my k can be inserted over here 43k6 and my k can be inserted over here that is 4k36 or my k can be inserted over here 4 that is k436. You can easily see that uh, what is the number of digits present over in my original string. Original string consists of 3 digits and there are four possible ways to put a k to these positions like a k can be placed uh, at the very starting then one place to the left then again two place to the left and again three place to the left and so on that is there are exactly this uh, length of this uh, that is the number of digits let's say d d plus one positions to place my newly inserted digit okay now what is the maximum uh, digits is going to be like uh, n is going to be like 10 power 9 then d can have the value of 10 maximum number of digits and d plus 1 can hold the maximum value of 11 ok so there are at most in worst case 11 possible places to place the value of newly inserted digit ok and here again plays an important different role if there are 11 places to be uh, to be the position of newly inserted digits and for every place that is for every place you can see k can hold the value of 1 or 2 or 3 
or 0 also and it goes up to like 9. So there are 10 possibilities to choose uh, k at any specific position. So there are total 11 positions in worst case and for every position we have 10 possibilities to choose my value k. So 11 into 10. So it comes out to be 110. So in worst case my total number of iterations goes up to 100, uh, 110 for a particular test case and it is like very small amount I can just uh, do this amount of iterations and find out my maximum uh, sorry find out the minimum n after inserting at most one digit so that my newly inserted digit makes my new number n and that my new number n is going to be like divisible by 3 ok so I am just going to use the brute force technique just do as what I have been asked in this question okay so you can see I have taken the test cases t and the string s and the length of the string this s dot length and if my already string note that I have used the function stall stull -L, it, it is going to convert the string uh, representation of a number into the numerical value so if stall of s is already divisible by 3 I am going to say yes uh, this is my answer and no need to go further otherwise take the answer as uh, infinite that is the long long max and find out the minimum uh, newly inserted uh, that is the minimum number n after inserting at most one digit ok so place the character at ith position from the right and note that I am going to use i uh, starting from i equal to 0 up to i less than equal to n less than equal to length of this string I am going to place the character that is for any specific position uh, my character can be 0 1 2 3 and it goes up to 9 that's why I have used this for loop ok and uh, there are total len plus 1 positions to be placed uh, there are len plus 1 positions where k can be placed ok find the new number and how new number can be find s dot substitute this plus newly inserted digit plus this uh, remaining value ok s dot substitute len minus i this is my new number and find the numerical value of this uh, string STO LL function is going to do that and if it is going to be like divisible by 3 take the answer as minimum and finally print the answer this will give you all test cases first and here it was the like uh, brute force technique to solve this problem okay so no need to worry about if you haven't solved that because uh, once you have clicked that there are total number of 110 iterations you can easily do that so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.